Hi. Um, my name's Rebecca Morrison. Like you said, I'm at South Floyd Elementary, which has just been consolidated into a K-8 school. We were a 612 school last year. And my ARI grant that I wrote was for classroom redesign. So looking at our data from KPREP for the last three years, historically math scores, which is what I teach, they are always lower than reading scores. Um, on average, we've been lower than 50% proficient distinguished so that's a concern that's something we want to get better at so what the plan is is to see if we can affect student engagement that will allow the students to master common core standards better if we give them a space that's an alternate seating and um, I wrote the grant for a hundred square feet of whiteboard paint but when I called to actually place my order um, I did not know that our school was on a discount program with this, so I actually got to purchase 200 square feet for the same amount of money. So I can do almost two whole walls in my room of whiteboard paint that they can get up and freely go work math problems out because one thing um, a lot of my students don't want to do is get paper pencil out, so they don't want to do the tedious work of actually working out the algorithms. And I'm hoping that by giving them an alternate space to get up, move around, get comfortable in their area, that they will work the problems, master the content, and I will see an improvement in their scores. So I did the whiteboard paint. I also did um, Zenergy chairs, and they are the bouncy ball chairs, the yoga balls, but they have legs, so they don't roll I saw one classroom with little kids in it and they didn't have the legs on them and they were kind of rolling all over the place. So these have legs, they're stable, and I also did um, beanbag chairs. So just a way for them to kind of get comfortable to be in an alternate area than what they usually are. Do I have any questions? Yes. Yes, Expo markers, and um, I also have tables in my room, so I'm thinking that I haven't painted it yet, so I'm thinking I'm going to paint some of the tables too, so that instead of the walls, they'll also have all kinds of different areas. The whiteboard paint? Well, actually, I was at a training in California this summer, and it was a school, the Summit School, and their walls, their chalkboards, not chalkboards, their whiteboards are, it's actually paint on the wall. And they have a little tray that they've nailed in the wall and you just pick it up and write on it. I thought it was so cool. So, yeah, and you just take an eraser just like, it's really neat. Any other questions? Thank you.